ETAs do not move the needle. ETAs, also known in the industry as expanded text ads, uh, that is a uh, advertising term that is within uh, not just Google, but also Bing, pretty much anything, um, I would say about 99% of anything new that Google does, Bing uh, copies. And Bing also runs uh, Yahoo and AOL too. Uh, AOL still has a search engine and uh, they're part of Bing's network, which makes up pretty close to 30% of the market share. So, you know, Google, Yahoo, AOL, you know, still important to pay attention to. So Google's been rolling out these new expanded text ads. What exactly is that? Basically, it means that the advertisement takes up more real estate on the first page of Google. Um, there, there have been talk in the industry that, okay, cool, you know, these ads are bigger, they allow for more text, they have more space, they have more bells and whistles to it. You know, hopefully that leads to people getting more uh, customers per advertising dollar, but recent studies have shown that it doesn't really move the needle either way. Um, that, you know, that the CTR rates, the click-through rates are pretty much about the same. And if the click-through rates are about the same, then the uh, quality score is going to be about the same too, so it really doesn't move the needle anyway. Uh, what is a click-through rate? A click-through rate is basically the number of views divided by the number of clicks. So like if you have 100 people that are looking on the first page of Google, 100 people searching for something, and then there happens to be one click on your ad out of those 100 views, that means your CTR or your click-through rate is 1%. The higher the click-through rate, the uh, more of a discount that Google's going to give you on the cost per click. And the main reason, uh, without getting too technical and going to too much jargon, the main reason why Google would offer you a discount is because it helps them make more money. Uh, the, the, the fewer amount of views that it takes to get a click, uh, basically it helps them make more money is sort of the simple way to look at it. Uh, you also have quality score. Um, one of the biggest factors with the uh, quality score is going to be the click-through rate. So if the click-through rate doesn't change, the quality score doesn't really change. Now if the quality score doesn't change, uh, quality score is what determines what type of discount Google is going to give you per click. Uh, and if that doesn't change, then you're, you know, you're not really getting a discount at all. Uh, the quality, and when it comes to the quality score, uh, if, if you're not getting a high enough quality score, like if you're somebody out there doing uh, AdWords or uh, Bing ads yourself, not, not called AdWords anymore, it's now called Google ads. Uh, but if you're doing Google ads and uh, Bing ads yourself and you're not getting a high quality score, you are paying uh, way more per click than a lot of people are, with, maybe without realizing it, you're, you're paying a premium. If you have a bad quality score and a, a low click-through rate, there, Google's basically charging you through the nose uh, per click. If you're paying like four dollars, five dollars per click on some uh, pretty like well searched for key terms, keywords, uh, stuff that people search for a lot. If you're paying four dollars, five dollars per click, that's because you have a really bad uh, quality score, really bad uh, click through rate, and that's why Google's doing that. And it's it's going to be a lot harder for you to make money if that's happening. So anyway, getting back to expanded text ads, they don't move the needle, they don't really help too much. Um, my personal opinion is that uh, in terms of all of the extensions that you have on the advertising, like I, I, don't, I don't like having all these, uh, Google has a ton of different options for extensions. I like sticking with the call extension because the most important thing is to get people to call. You have all these different buttons and all these different things that you can add to it. But when you, when you add them all in, then the uh, call extension is gonna pop up less. The call button is gonna pop up less and I don't want that to happen. I want the call button to pop up as much as possible because if you have the call button pop up in the ad and somebody clicks on it, it's the same cost of a click, same cost of a website click. So if I'm getting uh, people pushing on the call button for the same price, you know that, that's a good thing. So why is Google doing expanded text ads if they don't move the needle? So you think to yourself, why exactly are they doing it? It doesn't move the needle, it doesn't help people, it doesn't help customers, people don't make more money off of it, why is Google doing it? Uh, Google's doing it for the same reason why uh, most businesses do anything, and that's because they make more money. 
you have an extended text ad, uh, what benefit is there for Google? The big benefit is the fact that the SEO rankings and the SEO results, the organic results, all get moved down. Google Maps gets moved down. The bigger the advertisements at the top, the more space they take up. When they take up more space, everything gets pushed down. So that means uh, for any businesses that are out there that are getting phone calls and customers off of SEO, off of organic, they're probably gonna get less because these advertisements are gonna move them down. And when uh, companies make, you know, make less money on organic and get less customers off search engine optimization, uh, maybe they're then forced to uh, pay more money on advertising, which is you know, basically what Google wants. So that's uh, my take on uh, expanded text ads. They don't really help anybody else except for Google. Um, which, you know, hooray for them.